Brian Jones was the original leader of the band. It didn't fit with the way Andrew knew he had to project the band. The band fell in behind Andrew in, yeah, we'll turn his microphone off. We'll move his microphone to the other side of the stage. All little items that could have been cleared up if Brian had stood his ground. Um, it, it was those early things that probably not the stuffing or the whatever we call it today, out of Brian that caused the problems later on. He couldn't cope uh, with the press coverage, which was all centered on Nick. Uh, so little things happen. He was not told about recording sessions. He would be picked up late uh, for, for, for the transport for a gig. When he pushed it the other way and decided not to be there uh, and would say, I'll be an hour later, they just left him behind. Brian Jones became a major, major problem. Initially, it was his band. Andrew took Mick, pushed him up front, encouraged him. Didn't really encourage Brian at all. Was party to many tricks to downgrade Brian. Brian walks into the studio expecting all the band to be there. They'd actually recorded the track the day before. And there, leaning against his guitar amp, was a note saying, play only on these 24 bars, nothing else. And again, it was like horror, because they'd done the whole song without him, and they didn't actually want to be in the studio with him. But downgrading Brian meant massive loss of self-esteem. It was a gradual process of moving Brian to one side. Uh, Mick had been encouraged to grab it all for himself, and then when Mick had taken the ball by the horns, Andrew then worked on Keith to make him like the number one and a half guy. I would say once Andrew realized the potential he had in molding Mick into the focal point of the band and pushing him up front, he realized he had a casualty in Brian Jones because Brian wouldn't conform and fit in. And as far as Andrew was concerned, he was out.